In our age of satellites, cell phones, and cyberspace, there are still a few hidden places left on Earth. One of them is Irian Jaya. A land born of fire, crowned by ice, where pathless jungles swelter in equatorial heat, where freezing mists envelop soaring mountains, and men still live untouched by time. Some 75 miles from its jungle shores, a wall of mountains soars to 16,000 feet, the highest peaks between the Andes and the Himalayas. Atop them gleams a natural wonder, magnificent glaciers spawned by the Ice Age some 15,000 years ago, only five degrees south of the equator. Just below these glaciers lies a wonder of man. Two gigantic mines called Grasberg and Erzberg, less than two miles apart and nearly 14,000 feet high. Before it's exhausted, this megamine may yield more gold than the entire California gold rush. Many call it the most spectacular mineral deposit ever found. It's a mountain of ore. But it's not just that, it's also a root of ore. So like if you had a tooth, you know, and, and you can see the part that sticks above the gum, that, that's what most people mine. But if you extracted that tooth and it's got that long root on it, we've got that as well, and it's also full of ore. So you're looking at a vertical mile of, of gold ore body. It's just incredible. Grasberg and Erzberg lie some 700 miles north of Australia and 2,000 miles east of Indonesia's capital, Jakarta, in the western half of New Guinea, second largest island in the world. Once a Dutch colony, Irian Jaya is now an Indonesian province and home of some of the world's richest deposits of copper and gold. But Irian Jaya is not surrendering its treasures without a fight. The Grasberg Erzberg mining complex took 20 years to build cost more than three billion dollars and took its toll in human life. At its dizzying altitudes, men must work 24 hours a day, seven days a week, to make mining profitable in one of the most remote locations on Earth. The tough part about this was is that Mother Nature implanted this wonderful ore body at 13,000 feet when she said, come get it, and we had to go get it. When you go up there to try to explain it to somebody, the best way is that you're going to walk away with your mouth open. You're going to be a gog. Uh, people are going to say, how in the world did you do that? 